Welcome, I'm the Deadwood Jedi, and today you're here because you want to learn about how to use the Arena Calculator. And I'm really excited to have you guys here. This is a great tool for you to use to make your Arena teams better. I cannot wait for everybody to be able to really get their hands on this. So I'm very excited to do this little tutorial for you guys. To give you an idea of what we're going to be talking about, this is going to be a tutorial about the basics of the calculator. We're going to be talking about how to use it for the, at the very simple level, like how to tune your champions, uh, how to use the aura, how to get everybody in there and read the calculator so you understand how it works, how to use it with multiple champions and their skills. Um, should cover a lot of the basics in the next video we're going to talk about the advanced concepts so things about like using hegemons or passive abilities as well as like uh masteries uh that can affect things as well um so we'll talk about in the second video in the first video we're going to focus on the simple stuff now this calculator is not mine i did not make this is not my baby um but i'm very happy to be able to actually host it and have it really embedded on my website um now the person who built this is zombie lord this is going to be zombie lord's arena calculator that's what it's titled you can see it behind my head right there um uh, and there's a reason for that uh zombie hit me up pretty soon after i brought out my original calculator and he was super excited about it he was talking about doing an arena calculator and i was excited too i thought it was a great idea i just didn't have the time to do it uh, i thought i might be building one of my own in some point um but i encouraged him hey you know work on it for sure like that's a great thing this is something i can incorporate later on um which it turns out is what happened because he kept working on it and over the last couple months he's really perfected it and made it into something that i never would have envisioned it's way more advanced than i would have thought of and i'm very very grateful that he did he's been using it for a few weeks with the virtue clan cluster to great effect um so we know this works and can be very useful for you um he's been kind of, kind of trying to let people know about it through twitch um manable hit him up and was like this is great he hit me up and was like you have to put this on the website and i was like okay let me look at it and instantly i knew this is something i absolutely absolutely have to put on so i hit up zombie and i asked him if i could and he was gracious enough to allow me to put it on the website and i'm just so proud to be able to put this on here and present it to you guys because it's such a wonderful tool you guys if you're interested in arena at all you want to use this you want to check it out 100 percent so we're gonna go in i'm gonna introduce you to zombie lord so you get a chance to understand and meet the guy just know him a little bit and then we'll go in and we'll talk about the basics of the calculator break that down and then the next video we'll talk about the advanced concepts all right guys i'm really happy to be able to introduce you to zombie lord uh the creator of the arena calculator zombie lord thank you so much for uh for putting this letting me put this on the website as well as uh coming and uh helping us walk through and figure out what we're going to be doing today awesome thanks for having me i really appreciate it um thanks for uh putting it up and on your site and getting it out to the world I'm glad to have it, man. Really glad to have it, actually. Um, I've already praised you in the intro, so I'm not going to go into it too much here. Uh, suffice to say, this is something that I, I probably couldn't be able to do myself, and we're really glad to have it here. Why don't you uh, go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself um, and give us just, just a brief uh, intro of, of uh, what your experience is with Raid and like why you started doing the calculator, that sort of thing. Well, I started Raid um, almost exactly one year ago, um, last August. And uh, I, I casually started playing the game, free-to-play uh, type player, and then uh, I got addicted. I got hooked into it, and uh, a year later, here we go. I'm immersed in everything I can <laughs> in it. So when you released your clan boss calculator, um, I thought, oh, man, that's awesome. What we need is an arena calculator for, for that as well. I, and I reached out to you a couple months ago and said, hey, What's your thoughts and plans on that? And you're, you got back to me and said, yeah, I would love to see one um, up there. I just don't have time for it. And I said, well, let me put something together and see what you like. It's been a labor of love for a couple of months. Uh, uh, Wiz6 came out with his uh, excellent write-up on speed tuning uh, in the arena. And uh, that kind of prompted me to uh further invest into getting us out to the world so fantastic man well we're all very thankful for it um why don't we go ahead and you just uh kind of walk us through how we would uh how we're going to use this calculator because i think that's really the question that people are going to want to know <laughs> awesome so right off the bat um 
the white boxes that you see, the selectable white boxes that you see, those are the required uh, input fields that you're going to need to use in order to calculate your arena speed team. So all this stuff the that has box. the uh, all the stuff that has a speed or a champion, the champion names, the speed sets, the display speeds. That's pretty much all. Those are the basics that we need, right? Yeah. So you can get on the calculator, only input those fields, and get um, an idea on how to speed tune uh, your arena team. It's fantastic. Um, the other boxes that are in gray are advanced features, advanced situations that once you got your arena team tuned up, if you want to theory craft, if you want to play around with these ideas and strategize on how to beat mm. uh, the arena um, and the speed meta, um, they're available for you to do that. Um, excellent, excellent. So those are the things we'll be covering in the next video then. Absolutely. Perfect, perfect. So uh, yeah, why don't we get started here? How would we, let's say we have um, a, a team of uh, Gore Grab, uh, let's see, what Gore Grab, Apothecary, Drexar, and Zargala. That gives us that gives us everything, right? We got the speed lead, the speed booster, the debuffer, and the damage dealer. Okay. All right. So um, we're first going to start um, with our speed or our leader, our speed champion. So um, any champion that's going to give us a speed or a lead in the arena is going to give us a little bit of advantage. Um, and it and seems allowing like we have, to, I'm sorry to interrupt. It seems like we have all the champions in here. Is that right? That is correct. Every champion that will do a speed or, uh, or a modifier um, in arena is added here. And they are listed in descending order um, from fastest to slowest. All right, cool. So, so I choose Gorgrab, right, for that speed aura then? That's right. You started out with Gorgrab as your speed aura. Um, when you select the champion, it automatically populates the speed aura bonus into the calculator. So I can see that right here in the imp- yellow box. Right here in the yellow yep. box, you see that 23%. That's Gorgrab's aura. Does it automatically? Yeah, you don't screen? have to you know, go to your champion uh, index and and look at the skill list and try to figure out exactly what that is. Um, it's already populated into the calculator for you. It's fantastic. Now I do notice that uh, the calculated speed is changing as a result of this. That is correct. So um, a lot of people that are gonna see this have already experienced or used your clan boss calculator. Mm-hmm. And I think by now they're starting to realize that the display speed that you see on your champion in your stats is not the actual speed that that champion goes at. So the biggest thing here on the the difference between the two, uh, your calculated speed and your display speed is going to be that speed or a bonus that you don't see on your display speed of your champion because it's not gonna be calculated into those stats unless you're in a situation where that champion is affecting it. Excellent, excellent. Okay, great. So then once we got the aura in there, what's our next step? So after you've selected your speed or a champion, uh, the next thing is you need to decide which champion in your team you want to go first. Okay, so let's say Gore Grab, just to keep it simple. So do I just I just find Gore Grab in the drop down here as well? That is correct. And there's multiple ways that you can select this champion. I see that you're uh, scrolling down alphabetically in order to find the champion. You can type in the box there as well, Fantastic. find the champion, and it will it will start to limit the list as you type, and then you can either click on it with your mouse or your finger if you're using the phone, um, or you can just type the name out fully and hit enter. Excellent. That's just like my the clan boss calculator is very similar to that same kind of system. Now I'm noticing that the calculated speed has changed even when I select my champion here, like when I have. Test- Gore Grab versus Golden Reaper, that actual calculated speed changes. That's a percentage of the base speed. And because the base speeds are different, that's actually going to change the calculated speeds depending on the champion you choose? That's correct. So um, your speed aura um, only modifies your base speed. So if you have a champion that is going at 300 speed and their base speed is 100, uh, instead of a 23% bonus giving them 69% extra speed, it's going to or sorry, 69 extra speed, 
it's going to only give them 23 extra speed. Um, every champion's base speed is in here. So um, if you change champions, it will automatically calculate based off of their base speed. That's fantastic. Now, I noticed that we have a display speed of 100. Uh, it's pretty slow for a, for, a, for a lead champion. Should we put something a little faster in there? Yeah, so this is where you're going to want to um, input the speed of your champion. Um, so this can be the actual speed of your champion, or this could be a theoretical speed that you're trying to reach. Oh, okay. If you want to see what you need to do. Uh, with the other members of your team. Sure, that makes sense. Well, I'm going to put in 250 right now just for gore grab, so we have an idea. Um, a little more, a little more uh, typical speed for that. Um, now, uh, I'm noticing. Do we need to do anything else here? Or is this is this all that we need to do? I do see the speed set, so we would need to put those in for gore grab as well. Correct. That's correct. So the speed sets and the mastery lore of steel will slightly modify the calculated speed of the champion. Mm. This is extremely important in high-end arena or where speeds are very tight between you and the opponent. Mm -hmm. And the difference of one one hundredth of a speed uh, can be whether you go next or don't go next. Got you, got you. And just for those of you watching out there, I get this question a fair amount when you go, why does Laura Steel uh, make the speed slower or faster? Or how come if I have less speed sets, it actually goes slower or not? The calculated, the display speed is the actual speed. That's the actual speed. The speed sets and Laura Steel, they add to that. What we're trying to figure out is the specific calculated speed based off of those numbers. And so like the 250 is already set. That's what you already have. We're actually trying to figure out like the back end, what the what the fractions are with that. And that's dependent on how many speed sets and lower steel and all that stuff. That's why those numbers can fluctuate up or down regardless of how many you're putting on. Um, but great. So we have I went ahead and put three speed sets on gore grab. I put lower steel on gore grab because I figured that's probably how you would run them. Um, and uh, yeah. And then uh, do we is do we should we choose a skill? Is that the next step that goes on here? So yes, the next step is we're going to choose a skill that you plan on using um, for your first attack. Um, each champion obviously has different uh, abilities on their skills, and each one of those skills could have different modifiers uh, to the turn meter. So real quick, I'm, I'm, I'm just noticing, I'm choosing all the different skills, but I'm not seeing any changes in the speeds here. Is that normal? Uh, at this point of the calculation, it is, because... Uh, you're not actually, by selecting uh, A1 or A4, it's not going to change the speed of this champion. This champion is already set based off of your display speed. Right. What that scale does and what that scale modifier does is going to give us a calculation on what our next champion needs to move at in order for the enemy team not to interrupt them. Of course, of course. That's just like I was talking about the speed sets. The, the speed of... Gore grab is already set. We don't have to figure that out. What well, we're trying to figure out what the speed of the next champion has to be so we don't get interrupted. Fantastic, fantastic. Okay, so if so, we have the skill selected. We have the speed sets, the lower steel. The speed is put in. So now we have to choose the next champion, right? Correct. Okay, because I'm so noticing there's next... no speed there yet. We won't get that until we choose the next champion. Is that right? That is correct. Okay. Right. So your second champion, it's recommended that you either do a secondary buffer, speed buffer, or turn meter buffer, or a something to buff your team here. So Apothecary would be a great person to slot in for this team. For Fantastic. Arena. And I can see the minimum speed comes up immediately. And so like, if I'm not mistaken, what's happening right now is the calculator is telling us that if we make Gore Grab 250 speed, in order to ensure that we don't get cut in, uh, apothecary needs a minimum speed of 248 now here's a question for you this 248 does that include the speed aura bonus no this is your uh display speed so this is the display speed of your apothecary so my um, okay yeah i believe i i think a2 on gorgorab is his turn meter reduction or uh, boost oh look at that so I had the wrong skill, wasn't giving us any boost. So the minimum speed we need apothecary out is pretty much the same as gore grab. As soon as we put change the skill, then obviously we get the thirty percent turn meter boost from gore grab, and everything changes here. So now we know we only need to have two hundred seventeen speed, two hundred eighteen speed, 
as the minimum speed for Apothecary not to get interrupted after Gore Grab goes. Yes, and this also brings up an interesting point how when you did not have the turn meter selected, mm -hmm. uh, the actual skill selected, uh, you notice that Apothecary only needed to move at 248 right um in order to not be interrupted which is strange because um, that's slower than gore grab right you would think that they they'd both have to move at 250 but apothecary's base speed is different is higher than gorgo grabs that means he's getting a little extra boost he's getting that little extra two boost of speed from the um speed lead so Early if you didn't yeah. have a speed lead in this uh setup those numbers would reflect understood understood well that's great okay so we have gore grab now we have the appropriate speed boost we see the effect down here and apothecary is going at 217 speed that's fantastic that seems now these are the the actual the actual display speeds that you need in order to go okay um if you do not know how to calculate the calculated speed based off of your sets um you, I would recommend rounding these numbers up one. So if you see 217.48, then I would build Apothecary to be at minimum of 218 speed. That makes sense. 218 speed is, is going to keep you safe 90% of the time. 219 speed will keep you safe 100% of the time. And if anybody has questions about this, you another option, just use the Clan Boss calculator, and you can put in all the, all the stats, and you'll come up with the number that you have. Very just like you could do it up here. You could put in apothecary here with the number of speed sets and the lower steel bonus, and it will give you the actual the calculated speed there as well. So that's another option for you guys if that's something you'd like to do. Just take off the aura and you're good to go on that. Um, so cool. That's excellent. That's excellent. Um, yeah, and if, and if they are going to, if you are going to use that feature to find out that speed, uh, you do need to take off the speed aura like you mentioned. Great. So. All right, so we got Gore Grab. Now we know the Apothecary speed. So if we wanted to put in another champion, we would have to do the same thing, right? So sure, we... right. So we're going to select Apothecary's uh, scale, his A3. Yep. Um, does a turn meter increase and in speed buff. Right. And then we will select the third champion that you want to go. So we said we're going to use Drexthar. So there we go. And there we go, 188.67. So basically 189 speed for Drexthar. Now, Drexthar doesn't have any turn meter stuff on his skills. Is that going to reflect down here on the last champion? It will. Um, so since Drexthar is not increasing turn meter on the last champion, uh, depending on the base speed of this last champion, it could modify Drexthar or the champions before them to actually increase a little bit. Got you. So it's Zargala, so I don't see any 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 problems with that there um but basically it's almost exact same speed as drexar and like you said because we're not getting any extra speed boost uh that doesn't change anything for them so that's very interesting so we know then after looking at all this that if we have gore grab at 27 at 250 excuse me gore grab at 250 apothecary at 217 drexar at 188 and zargal at 187 and Frankly, all those numbers should be up one to ensure that we don't get cut in. But we'll just, for for example's sake, but if we have those at all those speeds, as soon as Gore Grab takes their first turn, we shouldn't be able to get cut in, correct? Uh, that is correct for the majority of the time. There are uh, situations and modifiers that can affect this, like the enemy team uh, proccing abilities, sure. and those are covered under the advanced features in the gray area. Fantastic. Um, one thing I do want to cover before we uh, leave the basics, though, I'm noticing that um, this enemy display enemy speed here and calculated enemy speed. I'm noticing it is exact to our gore grab speed. Um, so let me if I'm if I'm not mistaken, the premise with the arena calculator is that we go first. If we don't go first, this isn't at nearly as useful for us. But if we go first, this is we use this to ensure that we don't get cut in. Is that pretty accurate? That is correct. So the arena calculator is designed that if your champion, if your first or fastest champion does go first, that every one of your champions on your team that you are wanting to go goes before the enemy team has a chance to take a turn. Okay. So and the, cal the calculator bases all that calculation 
on if the enemy champion had the same speed as your fastest champion. Gotcha. If the enemy champion had a faster speed than them, they would obviously go before you. But we're we're saying that if the enemy's champion was also at 250, then based off of this setup, you could have these champions move at, at those speeds. Uh, Apothecary at 218, your uh, Drexar at 189, and your Zargala at 188. If those champions were at that speed or higher, they would not be cut in by the enemy champion moving at the same speed as your Gogoram. Right, right, right. Uh, that's a really good point. You know, it's a thing that a lot of people don't realize is that uh, ties go to the attacker. So if your champion is at, like in this case, Gore grabs at 250 speed. If the enemy Gore grabs at 250 speed too, because you're attacking, you will go first. And so when using these calculations, we put the enemy speed at the same high speed as your fastest champion. That way it ensures that no matter if, as long as you go first, you are guaranteed to stay stay in tune, not get cut in, and continue your cycle of champions according to the skills that you're using. Um, obviously, with the exception that some enemy skills can interrupt that type of stuff, so you got to be careful of that. But uh, within those confines, uh, that's why that enemy speed is the same as our displayed speed. I think that covers most of the stuff. Is there anything in the basic kind of section that you feel like we should really include and let people know about? The biggest things to remember here is the white boxes. Um, fill each and every one of the white boxes out. Make sure that you are selecting the correct skill for your champion because not every skill is going to do uh, turn meter manipulation. If don't don't be like me to... and choose the A3 for gore grab. Make sure you choose the A2. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah. And if you get stuck anywhere, go ahead and hover over the question mark icon and it will give you a brief description that will get you back on track. That's fantastic. I think that's great advice. Uh, this should be pretty simple. Uh, hopefully this is helpful for you guys. Hopefully you guys now understand it. Uh, please watch the next video. It's going to tell you the next things to ensure you don't get cut in, even if the enemy has special abilities. So you can really see that range. The numbers displayed here, guys, these are the minimums you need to get to to ensure that you don't get cut in. Uh, there is a maximum range to that as well. Uh, there's another there's another section of that depending on what the enemy can do and in order to be able to figure that out You definitely want to pay attention to the next one so that we can explain that to you guys, but thank you very much uh, Zombie Lord, thank you. Well, I'm gonna see you in just a minute here as we uh, go ahead and talk about the advanced concepts Awesome. Thank you. All right mm -hmm.